Sue Clark, the fire and toughness of this team. She's done so much in such a short period of time. We love it when you're on full beast mode, and so does the fans. Her competitiveness and lightning rod attitude ignites us all. Thank you for allowing us to challenge you and push you to be great. The best is yet to come. Hi, it's Sue here, y'all. I just want to tell my fellow teammates, just keep going hard and never give up. And when the going get tough, you get tougher. You know, and I want to tell y'all, the best memory I had with y'all was in Colorado when we all was going down the sleds, all that snow, even though we had a couple of spills and all that. That was a great time. It was a great experience with y'all. Yeah, hold on, let me go find Benny. Benny! Y'all seen Benny? I don't know where this crazy dog is at. Hey Sue, just want to thank you for coming back and being such a great example on the court and such a leader to us. Um, I wish you well throughout life. Uh, thank you. Sue, there are going to be so many coaches and officials that are going to be happy that you're not on the court next year. Your ability to draw fouls is like no one I've ever coached. You have so much passion for the game and you are great under pressure. I want to thank you for joining our program and playing the many roles that we've asked you to play especially the point position. And I will say, I think you've done a phenomenal job there. I know you want to pursue a professional playing career and just know your Tulane family is here rooting for you. Best of luck. So I just want to give like a big, big shout out to my mother. Um, she helped me be who I am today and not just by example, but just her wisdom she gives me at times. And I want to let her know, like Ma, I really appreciate you for everything that you do for me. and how in situations you're not only just my biggest fan, but you're also my biggest critic. I want to tell you I am very thankful for you to tell me when I am wrong. And I'm thankful for you for when you tell me when I am right. And I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. The spark of this team, Kayla Anderson, she competes with the best of them. She has the heart and the fight that never stops. She's fearless and she's willing to walk to that edge every single night. I admire how hard you go and I know great things are ahead in life. Thank you for being a green wave and giving us all your five years. Hey guys, just wanted to let you guys know that I love you guys and appreciate everything y'all have done for me over the years. Um, you know, I've been here for a while and it's been quite a journey. Every year has been different, every team has been different, but we've always found a way to stay together and um, keep that sisterhood. And that's something I want you guys to keep when I leave here. If I wanted you guys to remember me for something, I think that the one thing would be is that I work hard and I never give up. And I know you guys will have uh, challenges and obstacles in y'all's future. And I just want y'all to know that y'all can always overcome it if y'all put y'all's mind to it and never give up on yourself. Always believe in yourself. <laughs> Let's make a TikTok. Hey Kayla, uh, you're one of the finest person I've ever met in my life. Thank you for everything you did uh, for us and for the energy you bring every time we have practice. And we love you and we're gonna miss you. Yeah, hey Kayla, um, I just wanna thank you for always being a leader and always you know, keeping me up and just encouraging me and motivating me to do better and just be better every practice. Um, we're gonna miss you. Love you so much, Kayla. Kayla. You have made a big impact on this program over the last five years. A three-year captain has never been done in, in my time here. I love your toughness, your energy, your commitment to the team, and the dedication you have shown in proving yourself and pushing others to improve around you. You never back down from a challenge, whether it's in the classroom, with a business degree, or on the court. Thank you for being our coach on the floor, and I look forward to seeing you coach your team someday. Thank you, Kayla and good luck. My biggest influence is obviously my mom. My mom is my rock. 
I love her so much. She's done so much for me over the years. She's always been at my basketball games from a young age. She's always been at my training. She's always put a foot forward to make sure I had what I needed to succeed. When I was younger, just watching her work as hard as she did, um, so many hours throughout the week and still coming home and being a mom to three kids, it was just something that inspired me. It was like, if she can do it at a young age, take care of three kids, I can do anything too. And she's always just been that motivation in the back of my head to, you know, uh, be able to reach that next goal and give back to her when I'm able to. Moon Ursin. So I've known Moon since she was uh, about 11 years old and um, just we're just so happy to have her here. You know, when Moon came to, when she decided to come to Tulane, we were in Birmingham. She really hardly even knew any of her teammates' names. And here it is just a few months later and she has just been um, such, she has fit so well into what we do and everything about her is team oriented. Um, just love having her here. I'm just so excited that she gets to finish her career in front of her family and her friends and, and us too. So uh, it's been, been a great year having Moon here. To my teammates, I just wanna thank you guys for allowing me to be a part of this family. You guys are such a big part of my life now and I hope years down or later we can all keep in touch. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way, uh, the grind, the hard work, all of it. Uh, y'all have been, been really good to me. And so I hope just in return, y'all feel the love that I have for y'all as well. Thank you. Hey man, you don't have to get fit with us? Oh, yeah, I, mean, I can drive back 45 minutes and I, I'll, I'll come right back. I'll, I'll meet you later, okay? Oh, all right, okay, good. We'll see, see you later. Bye. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. If, uh... Hey Moon, thank you for coming here for your fifth year. Um, we love you so much and thank you for being such a great leader on the court. Hey Moon, thanks for being such a great teammate. I learned so much from you in practice and the game. Your determination is something that I really uh, remember and I'll try to implement in my game. Hey Moon, I love you so much. I'm so glad that you got to come to Tulane and play here. It feels like we've known you forever and it was just a short time, but we were so grateful for every moment that we had and we love your dedication to us and to basketball. We love you. Love you. Moon, it has been so great to finally get you in a Tulane uniform. Uh, we've known each other for a long time, but I am so grateful to have the opportunity to finally coach you. You came into the program and made an immediate impact with your competitiveness, and your confidence. You have a way of making those around you feel better about themselves. It has been so great to have your people in the stands pulling for you, and I know you are very grateful to have them there. Thank you for trusting us with your final season, and best of luck. To my family, I would not be here without y'all. Uh, y'all know that. Um, my mom, especially, you've been supporting me every single game since little bitty, maybe missed two of them. Uh, my brothers, y'all want me to be the best I can be, and y'all made me who I am today. So I love y'all, all of y'all, Coach B and her family. Thank y'all for being here my entire life. My aunts, uh, y'all clowns, but y'all know how, how I feel about y'all. So my heart is, is absolutely filled with y'all all the time. Thank you. C. I mean, I have always been so impressed with just how mature you have been and how you have everything together. Uh, you know exactly what you want to do and you make a plan and you set forth to do it and you accomplish it. Um, so proud of you in that aspect. But what I'm most proud of is your growth and your ability to adapt. Um, there's been some challenges and some obstacles that you've had to overcome these last couple of years and you've handled it tremendously. Um, I'm so proud of your growth in that area because I know it's been a challenge for you. Um, but I think that those lessons that you've learned from those obstacles are going to help you be the best doctor that you're going to be in the future. Uh, and you never know, one day I might be bringing Reese to see you um, to get his teeth checked out. But I just know that 
you are prepared, you are you are ready for this next step. And I just I'm just so excited for you. Love you. Welcome to the alumni side. Hey y'all. I just want to tell y'all thank you so much for um, being on this journey with me. It's really been a long one. Uh, you know, we were all blessed to have a fifth year and I'm so thankful that it was with you guys. I encourage you all to keep working hard because it's really all going to pay off. And I know y'all are going to continue to have amazing seasons um, after this one. And I love y'all so much. Cece, you want to go get hibachi with everybody? Oh, I can't. I got to study. But you can bring me something back. What you want? Um. Oh, see, let's go to Starbucks. <laughs> Yes, the ice child would hit right now. Yes, let's go. <laughs> hey, CC, we love you. Thank you for so much dedication and hard work that you put in this year, especially d throughout the summer. Like, you are such an inspiration to all of us. Thank you, CC. Yes, see, I'm gonna miss you so much. Thank you for being a leader on the court and just being a great friend. You're always there when I need you. I love you so much. Love you, Sierra. When you arrived on campus, you already had your priorities in order and you knew what you wanted to do. Uh, but it is amazing when you look back on the last five years of what you've accomplished. Um, you will leave here as playing more games than any player has ever played in a career. You also will be the only person that's ever won the Ambassador Award from the conference for three years. Maybe we'll make it four. You have put so many hours into your game outside of practice. Uh, you're a great leader, a motivator, and a great teammate. Um, I've enjoyed our honest talks and your positive outlook on everything. Um, Sierra, I think the sky's the limit for you and best of luck. I would first like to thank my mom. Um, she has been my ride or die, my rock, someone that I go to when I'm having the best day ever and also one that um, I go to when I'm having my worst day. So I want her to know that I appreciate her so much. This has been an extremely long journey and she's been with me the whole way. And I also want to thank my brother and my grandmother. They've also been right there next to me. And I hope my brother continues to keep working hard so he can get the same opportunity I did to play basketball in college. Um, and I'll be there to encourage him as well. And I want to thank my, coaching, my coaches, the coaching staff, um, Coach Stockton for giving me this opportunity. Um, Coming to Tulane has been such an amazing experience and it's really because of her. The culture that she's, um, you know, got here is really amazing and we couldn't have had this opportunity without her. So I want to thank her very much for everything and all the, the assistants and staff. I appreciate you all so much. You've made my experience so great. Crystal, uh, you have grown so much in these last five years. Uh, there's going to be so many lessons that you have learned both on and off the court that you're going to be able to take with you in your next chapter of your life. Uh, one of those lessons definitely being uh, getting back up after you fall over something invisible. I know we have some footage of that. If they want to roll it, they can roll it now. Um, but you're definitely um, one to trip over stuff that's really not there. No, but seriously, you are beyond prepared to, to be great at this next step that you're gonna take. Um, you are prepared and we'll be here to support you and cheer for you as you move forward after this, this Tulane chapter. And we love you, we're always gonna be there for you for sure. Hey y'all, I just wanted to thank y'all for just being such great teammates and being there for all the good times and the bad and um, having just all these great laughs. I always tell my other friends that there's never a dull moment and I'm really going to miss those moments with you guys and I'm always rooting for y'all and if you ever need anything, you can call me. Hey, did you see, look at this TikTok. Huh? This TikTok. No, 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 no. I'm playing 2K, dude. I can't. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just see her foot? <laughs> hey Chrissy, just wanted to say thank you for being an amazing teammate. Thank you for always believing in me and having my back. I have been so grateful and thankful to have these four years with you. I wish you the absolute best and we love you. Crystal, congratulations on a successful career. Uh, you have made your presence known in the American Conference and in the Tulane Record Books. Since your breakout sophomore season, uh, you have played consistently at a high level. 
Thank you for being so coachable and continuing to put work into your game. You are a great example of someone, if you don't like your role, change it. I am so grateful for your commitment over the last five years and of the person that you are. Good luck in your professional playing career and we'll be pulling for you. Thank you, Crystal. First, I would just like to thank my family, my mom especially, for putting me in this situation. You know, um, being recruited it was, wasn't an easy process for me. And just having my mom just help me make the right decision, which I would make this decision again. My sister, uh, I'm just really appreciative of her just being a good role model and just letting me follow in her footsteps. To my dad and my grandma, just for always being around and just being there for me. And um, last shout out is to Coach KJ. He coaches at Southeastern. Um, I think he really helped me become the player that I am today, just developed me into what I do now. So, thank y'all. So on Danae, Danae's a great teammate, a great kid, a hard worker. I, I'd like everyone to know that, but really the thing I'd like everybody to know is Danae's a baller. Danae really, you know, her body let her down here, but as a basketball player, you're talking about a kid with great length, could run the floor, shoot the ball, um, handle, great basketball IQ. So I, I sure hope that um, all of us that had a chance to be around Danae as a basketball player remember that um, her career didn't end like we wanted it to, but she really was an, a really extraordinary basketball player. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to say thank you for being the best teammates that I've grown to love over these four years. And um, thank you for always being there through the hard times. Like when I um, decided to medically disqualify, you guys, it's like y'all felt it with me and y'all made me feel like I was still a part of the team even though I wasn't playing and I'm forever grateful for that. Um, my knees hurt, but today, <laughs> I get to go see my broke best friend. Yeah, she's the cutest. Mm -hmm. What you doing today? Not smacking. <laughs> hey, Nay, thank you so much for coming back this year and really helping me this year, especially transitioning into my first year of college. We love you, Danae, and we're going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, girl. <laughs> Danae, thank you. Uh, for how much you have dedicated yourself to the program. You have done everything possible to get on the court. Uh, the toughness you showed through fighting through the surgeries and the rehab uh, was so impressive. It's obvious how much you love basketball. Uh, you are going to love the So You Want to Be a Coach program. It's going to really help you in your future. Hopefully, your role this year behind the scenes gave you a little look into coaching. But I think you're going to be a great one. And I can't wait to come see your team play someday. Congratulations on your degree, and thank you for everything. I would like to thank my coaches for always believing in me and giving me an opportunity to pursue my dreams and play college basketball, um, and for always sticking by me no matter um, what the outcome. Um, I want to thank my parents for sacrificing so much uh, for me over the years, from beginning from paying for trips and traveling, making a way when there was no way. Um, and I would also like to thank my grandmothers for always supporting me, no matter if I was playing or not, coming to the games and uh, just being there for me.